there! Welcome back to Corpse Factory! There... We go back to the desk. <laughs> uh, cursing underneath. I feel like I'm drowning under stress at the moment. Everything is piling up on me. Forcing me down. Pushing head underwater. Taking away my will to even fight back. Seven uh seventy requests work through. Hacker with access to my website. Even if I've managed to block them temporarily. Sure they'll return. And then there are, uh, there's the copycat responsibility responsible for my sister's death. It's all becoming too much. I don't feel like I'm in control anymore. Help! It's the copycat. I don't feel like so. I don't feel like stoic. Unflinching Norika. I don't even feel like Corpse Girl. Poor defiled Corpse Girl. With hackers cuddling her and copycats mocking her. If I don't feel like Norika and I don't feel like Cor Corpse Girl, then just who the fuck am I? Some random schmuck on the street. And now it's Friday! <laughs> Thank you for meeting me after work. I hope you don't mind meeting at this restaurant. Of course, it's no trouble. It's nice to see you. I feel like we only ever talk on the phone these days. Yeah. And is something troubling you? I'm not really sure why I asked. Howie to meet with me. Part of me, uh, part of me, who wants someone to talk to. I want to vent and unleash my frustration. But another deeper, deeper part of me just wants to throw everything away and hold her in my arm and let her tell me everything will be okay. I forgot to freaking boost the freaking sound over here. Last freaking series I put. Sorry. I think I have a weird look. You can talk to me. I. Uh, I'm kind of swamped at the moment. Do you ever get that feeling that you're drowning underneath the weight of everything? That. And no matter what you do, you'll never escape your situation. What am I saying? Of course you get it. But you've been through so much shit. Noriko, we've both been through a lot. It's all wasn't easy for either of us. I know you better than anyone. I know everything about you. Ah. And that's true. It... Conf it confirms me. It confronts me, and I remembered. Close enough. Howie and I used to be. But times have changed. I have changed. I might as well be completely different. Uh, be a completely different person these days. There are things about me. Howie doesn't know. Things that make up who I am. Who corpse girl is. I guess I'm just overwhelmed. Maybe I need a vacation. A vacation, huh? That does sound nice. <clears throat> okay. Dream vacation destination. Go. Hey, at least she's being really hot. Really freaking cheering. High on spirits, man. <laughs> 
types of people are always fun to hang around. I don't care what you say. Those types of people that have that kind of really nice and what lift your spirits kind of energy are some of the nicest people, man. I don't care who you are. You're, you're the nicest people out there, bro. Huh? Come on. We used to play this all the time. Don't think about it. Just tell me about your ideal getaway. <laughs> uh, do we have a list of options yet? <laughs> I bet you so many people. I bet you all watching right now. I don't know any of you. Okay, I might know some of you. The roll up, but the I don't really know any of you that well. I bet a lot of you have some really fucking nice places you guys want to go to. <laughs> Like, I don't care where you want to go. I bet you guys have some amazing places. You guys just want to just throw right there. And in my opinion, fuck yeah. Go with countries. Want states. Or provinces. Or something. Just don't give out too much details. We're talking. Just go with like, let's say a country. Or something like that. Just to make it easier. Uh, my option. I'd say Europe. That was a decent option. That's going. That was a decent. Mexico is a decent option. Crap, there's a lot of decent options. <laughs> uh, somewhere sunny. <laughs> Don't laugh at me! I just can't imagine you in the sun. <laughs> Fair. Huh. Seriously. You said dream vacation, so... Yeah. In my dreams, I'd like to go somewhere sunny. Hey, cause you see everything. Maybe Hawaii. Or Australia. I've never been to Hawaii or Australia. I've also never left the U.S., so... Oh, by the time I'm recording this, yeah, I've never left the U.S., so... Also a decent option. You know that Australia has a bunch of things that will just say, Screw it! Time to kill you! That thing. That's Australia. Could you imagine me with a tan? <laughs> you should go! Go to Hawaii or Australia or wherever. Do something good for yourself. Ollie, come on. You know it's not that simple. But why not? <laughs> really? How can you of all people ask me that? What's that supposed to mean? You can't even leave your apartment without checking that the light is off. Or that the faucet isn't running. You need to check like 10 or 20 times. <sighs> I'm aware. At least I can go out. Wait, is it gonna go down to this where at least I can do things? Hey, I'm out right now, aren't I? Fair. <laughs> Are you? Excuse me? Does a safe little place like this even count? Uh, don't know. <laughs> How is this any different than your tiny apartment? It's completely different. I'm surrounded by people, and it's the same. You don't go anywhere new. Fair. All I have to do is just go outside, walk about... I know it's how long. Like 20 minutes. A couple hours, and I'll be somewhere new. I'm not walking a couple hours in one direction, by the way. It's too far and it's not worth it. You're too terrified to step outside of your comfort zone. Oh, come on. You can't talk. You couldn't even start working at the office with me because you were too anxious to leave your apartment. That's not fair. If, if I'm not certain about everything, then it's too hard to... So you're in the same boat. Why are we fighting? We both know what we're battling with, so... Why? 
good question. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We sit in uncomfortable silence for a while. And every now and then, how we shuffles the shuffles into our seats and the phone. Said some nasty things to us. Sometimes I think before I can even think twice about what I'm saying. Ellie, um, tell me about your dream vacation. Was it nice? Yeah. I'd actually like to go somewhere colder. I like the cold. I like to wrap up in blankets and eat the pot cocoa. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe a winter getaway to Switzerland or Norway. Okay, so, uh, the Nordic. Not bad. It's nice there. They have, like, nice views. That's all I really know. I don't know too much. <laughs> that doesn't sound half bad. Uh, there's something nice about snuggling up in the cold. Right? <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Do you think we'll ever get away? I am certain we will. Maybe we could go somewhere together. Maybe. By the way, I wanted to tell you that I'll be leaving the Maid Cafe soon. Good. Really? That's great. Uh, what does your manager think? He pauses before answering. Not sure if she thinking or trying to build prize or I think he's had a change of heart. <laughs> he said I can do what I want. That's fantastic, Ali. It's a relief, that's for sure. My last shift is tomorrow. After that, after that, I'll finally be able to escape that one guy. <sighs> finally. Oh, we get to be happy. I think that she's kind of one of the main characters. Ellie hangs her head. To say anything more. I know that she thinking talking about her stalker. That disgusting guy that makes advances on her at work. I'm sure that come to Owie's quitting her job in order to escape him. But a solution is a solution. What will you do for work? I'm sure something will come up. <laughs> Sooner better than later. I have a bit of money tucked away, so I'm not too worried. And my boyfriend has a good job, so he can probably help out. Oh shit. Your boyfriend? I am slightly shocked that Ali dropped that nest of information. So casually. I didn't know that either. Since when has she been seeing somebody? Never spoke of a boyfriend before. A sharp knife. Jealousy. Pricked my heart. I have to look away from order to hide the tears. Telling in my eyes. We've been together for a little while. His name is Junpei. He's great. Actually, he's going to pick me up in a little bit. Uh. Well, she's, well, she's saying people. <laughs> Junpei. 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 I hate him already. The sound of his name. I hate the stupid looking face that my Imagination cooks up. Is... Was he this Owie? I'm sure. Given? I'm gonna guess... Yes? It would make sense. Good. He slept with Owie. Hi, Owie. I'll kill him. 
I'll fucking murder you. See. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Owie. Phone vibrates against the table. He glances at the screen. That's not a tiny doll. Oh, he's here now. I'll introduce you. Thanks. I'll get. I cut myself off and ignoring our owies. Ooh, quizzical stare. Hands up and towards the door. Claps her hand. Exchange an excitement. Ave at the broad. Yeah, the broad, fumbling man. Staggering towards the table. Hey, babe. Uh. Jimbe, 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 and. Look, the, look at this guy. Look at his luxurious eye. What? Extras? Eyes? His. Drooling mouth. His gash filled clothes. Shriveled clothes. I think that's the other way. But oh, he is dating this fucker? Well, she could have had anyone she wanted. But for me, I think it's the best time to kind of end the episode here. This guy's actually. Do we actually get to see who this guy is? Yeah. So, man, I hope you guys have a great well, time. Great day too. Now I'm gonna question what Owie is planning to do. Ah, I'll see you guys next time.